happy they don't make homes like this anymore. Check it out. If you appreciate homes with a rich history, mid-century modern look, you don't want to miss Indiana Landmark's annual Back to the Future Tour. Mark DeLossi, the Vice President of Preservation Services, is joining us now on the Red Couch to share more about this tour. I'm super excited about this, and I was glad I got to interview today to talk more about this one. But what do you want people to know about this tour? First of all, I think the tickets are almost sold out, aren't they? They are. It's Getting a close. super popular event for us every year, and actually for Indiana Landmarks, it's the biggest event that we put on each year. So I hope everybody gets the opportunity to peek into these uh, unique homes. I do too. Let's start with some of the basics before we kind of dig in. Um, when is the tours happening and how many homes are we going to be able to walk through and look at? There are five houses open uh, and uh, it is this Saturday, mm. July 8th. And it's this Saturday. Yeah, and so it's between noon and five, so people will have the opportunity to kind of walk through on their own time, um, drive from home to home, uh, I'm really excited because one of the properties that we have on the tour is the Loftner home, which if those that remember Loftner cafeterias yes. here in central yes. Indiana, yeah, it was <laughs> Mr. Loftner's home, built 1967. Ooh, that's awesome. Um, and it's for sale right now, as a matter of fact, too. Okay, yeah. so real quick, the pictures that we're seeing first, the one right here right now. Yes. Is this that one? Or no, is, it the, is this, it the blue or grayish color? House? Yeah, this one is in Greenwood. It is called the uh, Cooler Conference Center now mm -hmm. so you can actually do events there but it was built for a family by the name of Mills okay. so is and this one no this no, one right. is in a different neighborhood uh, built for an Eli Lilly executive and actually one of these homes we found out in research uh, was built by a man named Charles Rice who worked at Lilly who had been on the Manhattan Project oh, really? and for the atom inventing the atomic bomb. So these histories are so interesting that we have here in, in Indianapolis and in central Indiana. I forget, I think probably 90% of the things that I learn. I just, there's so much information coming in. I always say, we, we, I said mid-century modern. Mm -hmm. What does that really mean and what makes a home? I mean, I can look at it and go, okay, that's what it looks like to me, but what actually makes it? Um, mid-century modern yeah. besides just the year that it was built yeah I mean that's a yeah. big part of it is the age we usually say 1940 to 1975 mm -hmm. is kind of the time frame that we're looking at but then within that th there was this desire to use natural materials like stone and brick I think you most often see a lot of flat roofs yes. a lot of glass that kind of mixing of the indoors and outdoors with mm -hmm. sliding glass doors and etc so I Which think is popular right now coming back. It is. It is. It's like big in current day design. And so to, to be able to take places that even had those pink bathrooms in the <laughs> you know, tile yeah. bathrooms yes. that people today are, you know, see as sort of a cool retro thing to try to preserve. We're encouraging that too. So. I love it. So when yeah. my parents' house, they built it in the seventies and um, not, I mean, it's a, a, an older home that they had years ago, but we had a bathroom that we called the big bathroom because it was that style of, you know, and the other ones were like just so teeny. Right, and it's right. not that big of a bathroom nowadays, but to us it was called that. So interesting. Um, I'm going to give people information on signing up for the tour. And um, real quickly, how much are the tickets? They are $20 ahead of time, mm. 25 the day of oh. the tour. So. Okay, if they're still available then. Right. Right. So we got to make sure you guys get those. If you would like more information on the super cool event that's happening this weekend, you said, right? Yes. Saturday. If Brad wants to go, um, Indiana <laughs> Landmarks, visit our website, fox59.com slash links and